when did I move up from Tiger Court to Deep Space for Rep Grind? So, <laughs> it's actually an interesting thing because Tiger Court is actually pretty significantly better than many of the early Deep Space systems. So, if you're talking about killing a Klingon hostile in Tiger Court, Federation rep I would get is 8,000. Romulan rep I would get is 4,000. Those are the base numbers. Now, since I'm going to have to go out and do my daily here in a second, so let's just... 8,000 and 4,000 are the base numbers that we're working with. I'm pretty sure I had to be able to reach this level of system out here in the 46 range before I was even getting the same rate of return. So I'm pretty sure I was doing Tiger Core for a while, just because the value was better. It's also a shorter flight back and forth, so that also made it a little easier. But again, it's also a little more less, a little more crowded because of the the benefits of it. So. Carvist, you have a problem. You sent the ticket to Scopely because your farming rep killing Klingons in the Franchier level 20 system. Specific crew, specific ship without changing something and the damage you receive every time is 89 to 95 and after the patch you had you're getting 250. So you're getting hit and doing they're doing more damage to you after the most recent patch. Um I do know they did make some changes and they did clean up the battle engine a little bit and some some of the things with that. I don't know if that would have changed any of the glitches or bugs or things that maybe may, might have been benefiting players that aren't there anymore as a result of some of those patches. Like I know, for example, people were saying that like using the baby jellyfish for base defense the ship itself says it gives a 70% bonus to the captain's ability, but there was something in the in the underlying mechanic that it was actually doubling it, and it was giving 140% bonus to the captain's mechanic, so you were seeing far better returns on it. And that's why the people who built that whole defense around using two or three baby jellies for base defense and things were seeing incredible rates of return on that, on that, that, that defense, the bold defense, I think is what people call it. Um... And now since the last week, they fixed it and they put it back to the, the appropriate 70% that it should be. So now people are not seeing as good a success with that base defense anymore. And there were probably were a number of other little tweaks that were included in those uh, adjustments that maybe also uh, the result of, of what you're seeing now with, with, with taking more damage killing some of those hostiles. Well, yeah, customer service doesn't understand how the game works, so they're just going to say, well, we didn't change anything. Well, did you have any... I mean, if you have alliance territories as well, that could obviously be a thing. If your alliance doesn't have a buff active in your territory or something like that, that could be changing things. I know a lot of times I don't keep up with what buffs are actually active in my territories. So there are times where something like a dodge enhancer might actually not be turned on. So you're not getting the extra dodge, which is why you're taking more of the damage or something. Uh, or a piercing enhancer might not be on, so now you're killing things. It's taking you longer to kill things, so you're getting shot more times. Uh, something like that could also be a factor. Why isn't this buff on? Research speed enhancer. 75% increase the research speed. That should be one we should, have, we should have on all the time. I'm sure it's a lack of materials, but... But we'll look at this exactly. So Tiger Core we said was 8,000 Federation rep base, 4,000 
Romulan rep base. We're about to get out to here to these level 43s, and I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be less on both counts. So if you're grinding Federation rep, you're pretty much going to do it in Tiger Core most of the way until you can get further out here. Um, and if you're grinding Romulan rep, even though you're only getting half and getting the 4,000 per kill, you are probably still going to end up getting more rep than you would be in out here in these 43s and things like that, killing some of the stuff out here. But we will look at that specifically here in just a second. No changes. Yep. So we're going to change this with your territory buffs or if your alliance had some buffs open when you tried hitting the hostiles as shown in your screenshots. Yep, that's about what we that's what we were talking about, that they were going to ask, you know, we didn't change anything that's going to alter the damage stats of something. So, all right, so here we have level 44s, regular Klingon traders here. They are giving 5,400 and 2,700, so nope, not able. Those guys aren't better. speed this up a little bit. So now we're going to jump into here we go. Here's a level 45 Federation system. So here we've got a regular 46 Federation trader. This one here gives 6,000 Romulan rep, but the level 44s here give 5,400. So if you're trying to gain Romulan rep, you're getting 4,000 to kill in Tiger Core at the point where you can kill the 44s out here. You're getting 5,400 per kill, so obviously you're getting more. But these guys are also stronger. They're 7 million, and they are further out into, you know, out here in, in deep space. So for grinding Romulan rep, regular 44s here, when you can kill them, you're getting more. All right, so the 42s, okay, so if you're grinding Romulan rep, you're getting, by the time you can get out to, to Hollis, you're getting more value from killing these guys in terms of getting the Romulan rep. The 42s are worth, you know, 4,800. They're about 5 million in strength which is probably comparable to the level 40s in Tiger Core. 5 million in strength, 4.7 million here. So if you're going for Romulan rep, there's your answer to that question. By the time you can get out to the middle ring, the, the first ring here, you get past the base systems, you get past this base group of systems, you get warp 75, and you get out here to Hollis and the surrounding systems out here. You're getting a better rate of return killing Federation hostiles for your Romulan reputation than you would killing in Tiger Core. But in terms of getting 8,000 Federation rep, For killing Klingons, see, even the 47s are only given 6,400. You have to get beyond even this ring. You're talking about warp 135 or higher for grinding Federation rep. So, uh, 
yeah, you're 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 better off still using Tiger Core for Federation rep until you can get way out here. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what the forty eights look like. find a 48 there we go there's a 48 right there 48 is still 6700 so to get Tiger cores so heavily because again they're veterans as well they're not regular traders so you have to get we're talking like warp 185 or or 165 or whatever this is 160 Maybe even the 49s, or maybe even all the way out here where it's warp 185 to actually get a better rate of return on killing hostiles to grind Federation rep than you do in Tiger Core. So, the short answer is you're never going to move on f from Tiger Core for, for grinding Federation rep. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much the answer. <laughs> Unless you're, you know. Ops 46, and you've got a ship that can reach all the way out of here, which you're going to need, like, either a very high level. I mean, this is Tier 6, and it's only 180. This is Tier 6. So you got to either be a tier higher than that and be Tier 7, or you need a pylum, which means you're Ops 46. Uh, and you've got that at least a couple tiers up as well to get all the way out here to this Warp 185 system. At which point in time, you probably could have been done just grinding in Tiger Core. So there we go. And then, of course, obviously the numbers get changed because those are just the base numbers. So the numbers do change based on your, your research and things like that. And you get additional benefits for using the right faction ship. So if you're grinding Romulan rep using an auger, you get more of a benefit for that, for that second set of, uh, of reputation research.